you guys. This is your girl, this for Amelia, back again with another video. I hope you all have had a blessed week and have found multiple things to be grateful for. Yes, so I am back again with another video for the 12 days before the new year. With this video, I was very excited to do because I'll be talking about my favorite products of the year i'm so excited to do this i have a lot this whole bag full of the products that i've been using for the year i'm gonna try to do this as organized as i can i'm gonna try to keep this as neat and as quick as possible i separated things in makeup hair technology or like accessories and then skincare slash body care so that's how we're gonna separate these specific things i'm gonna start with makeup makeup i'm gonna start with these eco tools brush sets these have been just really handy dandy i've been using the same eyeshadow brushes for a very long time so i was like let me just get some new brushes in my repertoire and these eco tools are pretty cool each of them have like a specific thing to do this one does smudge this one does blending another one does defining and another one actually puts on the shade and they're supposedly very great for the environment they're cruelty free they use renewed bamboo in these and and it looks pretty environmentally friendly and I use these a lot it does a wonder when it comes to blending different colors because I just got this new palette which is the next thing that I'm putting on my list from Colourpop called yes please this palette has been amazing but the colors are so bright and i'm not a bright colored girl so these are the shades that they have and these shades are just so what do you call it they're so bright i'm used to really nude like brown colors this was color pop's first ever palette and i saw it recently and i was like i really have to get these new shades i'm not really used to using a lot of color on my face so i'm gonna try with these because these are pretty mild even though they are very bright and defined when you put them on your eyes i especially use note to self louis and big cocktails note to self is literally the perfect shade match for my eyes when i just want like a base louis of course you get a little sparkle but it's still very natural and then big cocktails when i really want to go in with the color all of these shades are beautiful i think i've practically used all of them besides mischief and full zip mischief i really don't know where i'm gonna go with yellow i'm gonna try it one of these days though and full zip is very light so i've been trying to decide on what to use it with and with the glitter shadows they really illuminate well against my kind of skin color and this palette is also very warm and i have a very warm undertone so it works very well with my skin so i do love 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 this palette and i've been in love with ColourPop for a long time i use a lot of their makeup products a lot of their makeup products are in this favorite video so we're gonna go ahead with some more ColourPop items i got the ella collection this is another video that i recorded and just never put up but i did do a review on the ellery collection and it is amazing i absolutely love it i do love ellery and watch her channel as well these shades are just beautiful this is ellery in netta these glosses are really coming for my life i've been loving this gloss for me i don't like wearing it by itself so i do put on a liner before i put it on me this revlon color stay liner in raisin i really thought this was gonna be brown I really thought this was gonna be brown and on my skin it's like a deep red wine like a whiny red color which makes sense because the color's name is raisin but in the store I really thought this was gonna be brown on me but it still works really well when it comes to blending other things so this and Netta have been my two favorite when it comes to going out for anything this winter which is weird you would think that I like matte but I've really been living it up with the gloss life this winter so we are gonna Gonna get some mattes in this collection this is also by ellery it's a ultra matte lip it's called sissy i wore this all in france i don't know if you guys know but i do love avenue by ColourPop, which is one of their reds it's a beautiful red that sits very well with my skin tone but sessie kind of blew avenue out of the water sessie is like a deeper red it's kind of like a, a a mold whiny like a deep 
wine red i wore it in a lot of my lacoste videos i wore it in france a lot but i really enjoy sassy sassy is sassy okay sexy girl sassy and i love that she named them after things that were very important to her and that's really cool i would love to name like a, a makeup line because my names would be so funny they would be so cute and obviously important to me this is another ultra matte lippy by ColourPop. this is a limbo now i've been down for the count for limbo for so long i absolutely love limbo the first time i did a color pop review i think limbo was in my collection because i really wanted a deep brown if you can't tell by now i'm all about the browns i'm all about the nudes i'm all about the natural pinks on my skin because those are the things that I wear the most but I've been trying to dip into different different colors this which has nothing to do with limbo but just saying that I absolutely love limbo as a brown I will wear the statement color any any time it's ultra matte it does not come off for anything so you know it's good and it's worth the money Colourpop is very cheap I'm also not getting sponsored to do any of these things i just really 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 enjoy these products and i love talking about them because they work really well for me so i hope you enjoy it and i hope you get some time to check it out yes color pop now i have this nyx or nyx i say nyx butter gloss i've been using this since high school i think i usually get it in gingerbread they have these butter glosses that are very close to your skin tone and i thought this was gingerbread when i got it i got it for france and then i realized it's a little bit lighter so it's a little bit brighter than my lip color and this is in praline whatever shade it's in whether it's in praline gingerbread or nutmeg these are so bomb it is brown but it just works so well with your skin it's so beautiful and i absolutely love it another makeup fave for me has been the kiss line for brows top brow auto eyebrow pencil and it is in dark brown my hair is actually 1b which means it's like a deep 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 deep, deep, deep brown it's not exactly jet black and obviously it's not brown it looks black at the side of it so whenever i do my eyebrows i don't like doing it in black because usually when you get black pencils they're jet black which makes a very obvious contrast against my hair like my hair is not absolutely jet black it does have a mixture of brown in it so when i do do my eyebrows i always do them with a brown pencil just to fill them in and it blends in really well with the black hairs that i have and it makes it a little bit more natural it gives it a lot of a lighter kind of face look instead of having these deep black brows which i absolutely love on some people just not on me okay and it also comes with a brush that you can use to like shade in your eyebrows so love 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 this product i'm gonna go back to color pop before i start on any other thing so this is a super shock shadow in birthday wish which i got from color pop on my birthday i ordered the ellery collection before my birthday and they sent me this as like a free gift because i am subscribed i have an account with them and it's so cute this shadow is really pigmented lots of glitter listen this can direct traffic how much glitter is in this it's not a natural color but if you want some extra pop if you want some extra glitter in your eyes or maybe you want to highlight your cheeks a little bit or underneath your brow it's like silver and purple flakes of glitter really gorgeous i really wanted to try a stick foundation because my skin is so weird it's like dry in certain areas and then obviously in my t-zone it's very oily as you can see right now i don't even have makeup on and it's reflecting so obviously when i do have makeup on it's turned up to a thousand and my skin gets really greasy right here so i really wanted to try a stick foundation to see if that would change that aspect of it so i went and bought black opal true color skin perfecting stick foundation and it also has spf i wanted to try stick foundation just because i was going to france and i knew it was going to be really hot so whenever i decided to wear makeup i wanted to make sure that it lasted and this is in the color nutmeg cv8 it is a cream stick foundation 
foundation by black opal and it's also black owned so that's why i really really enjoyed this now i'm probably a little bit lighter than this shade but it worked really well on my skin during the summer my skin was not as greasy as it would have been with liquid foundation but i do enjoy using liquid foundation i do like it a lot better the only thing with the stick foundation is that it's a lot harder to blend because it's so solid so that's the only difficulty that i found with it but i do like the shade and i do like the convenience of it it's almost like a lipstick you can just carry this everywhere in your little bag and swipe it on do what you gotta do we're gonna go in with the new foundation that i have been using i have been using clinique's beyond perfecting foundation foundation and concealer this brand has given me life for so long i started using this brand because my mom was using it and i haven't really been wearing makeup for a long time i was always about lipstick and lipstick was my thing so i have a wide range of lipsticks i think the first time i probably wore like a full face of makeup was prom was probably my senior prom so i haven't really been like dabbling in makeup for that long but this foundation right here i used to seal my mom not steal i used to use <laughs> my mom's foundation and she is in ginger and i got color matched very recently and i am in golden but we're kind of the same shade i mean ginger is just a shade lower than golden so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and decide to get my own because i also still wanted to try having my makeup last for a long time and not melt off of my face so this worked so well i've used this on so many nights out where i'm actually physically dancing and sweating and my makeup did not move a bit y'all okay this is so good and it has a wand where you can apply your foundation it's just the bomb this is so good it matches my skin so well i literally don't even need concealer or color corrector anything like that to correct my skin when i'm using this this is literally all i need this is literally my go-to this has to be my favorite of favorites besides one other thing that i'll get to later that i absolutely love 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 this has to be my favorite product of the year crazy and my mom actually got me a clinic kit for christmas because she knows that i love it so much and they gave me another foundation some of these little things in here are about to be my favorites for next year okay i'm so excited to try them and use them i honestly need to do a video with clinique products because <gasps> so good i went to blue mercury to really get a setting powder so my face cannot be greasy anymore and i really wanted laura mercier because i've been hearing so much about it and like i said i wasn't really accustomed to makeup like that so i said let me try this laura mercier powder and it was sold out it was so sold out so this young lady she was amazing she was so sweet to me customer service was at a high 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 because sometimes these people in customer service really don't know how to be talking to people okay she was so nice to me she color tested me for my foundation she went and tried all these different shades for loose powder and we finally came up with a shade from nars and this is in the shade heat so they have different shades for different skin tones basically for this loose setting powder now that it's winter i find myself being a little bit lighter than this shade so i don't tend to use it too much in the winter which is perfectly fine because my face is still not greasy because of this clinique foundation since it's a little bit darker than my skin tone i'll use it like around my face like underneath my chin or like under my cheekbones or my forehead and that kind of thing so those can be set and then i leave this area right here so it doesn't look as dark as this powder but this powder works wonders i know like when it starts warming up and i get a lot more sun on my skin then it'll be a definite match but right now i'm a little bit lighter than this powder this is my last makeup slash beauty product this is a mood polish from urban outfitters actually this polish is so dope. I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. I actually got this on sale. I think it was like three for 10 and usually they're like $6 for one. So I was like, let me try these 
polishes this is in the shade everything's peachy and it does change color it took me forever to figure out how it changes color because usually it's like you can put your hand under cold water but the water has to be like freezing cold for it to actually change color i think i have like a snap or an insta video of me dipping my hand in ice water and it changed color it looks so beautiful and with me and nail polish nail polish does not like to stay long on my fingers but this stays for like a week or more when I'm doing it by myself and I completely appreciate this polish it's so amazing I've been trying to try brighter colors you know I'm a nudie brown girl so I'm always having like nude nails or brown nails but I've been really trying to try color and this lavender looks gorgeous against my skin so I really enjoy this nail polish we're gonna go into skin care now let's go skin care skin care so first we're gonna start with these makeup wipes we we're talking about makeup for so long how do i get the makeup off which is a, a good question from a lot of people they've been asking me like what my skincare routine is which i don't really have here in my favorite products i guess i could save that for another video but for taking off makeup i use these simple sensitive skin cleansing wipes so i do have sensitive skin my skin reacts to a lot of weird different different things i'm normally not the one to use like sensitive skin specific things because they don't normally tend to do anything for my skin and they're normally a lot a lot milder than the original products like i know dove has a sensitive skin body wash but i just get the original the face wash that i use cetaphil they have a sensitive skin body wash but the sensitive skin one is so trash compared to the original one so i really don't use sensitive skin products Products, but with this product right here, I think I first heard this from Jen M. She used these simple wipes. I think she had like a sponsorship with them where she was going through their whole skincare routine. But I really wanted to try something that got my makeup off because sometimes it's very hard to get my makeup off because they set so well that it's really difficult to get them off. I really want to try this and these are amazing. I've been using this for a very, very long time. I actually got this specific pack for Christmas because my mom knows how much i love these so she really got me the basics which i absolutely appreciate it is the best of beauty i can't even read that it's so small it is the best of beauty award winner from allure in 2016 okay it has no harsh chemicals no artificial perfume or color which is what i love anything fragrance is just a no-no for my skin so i definitely appreciate these beautiful skin wipes the lighting is so weird right now so i hope i'm not too dark i know the sun went down a little bit and i hope i'm not making this too bright so it looks crazy when i'm editing another thing that i use to take off my makeup is this pond's cold cream cleanser i believe i reviewed this in a video before as my favorite product but this is absolutely amazing it really helps when it comes to taking off my mascara and anything on my eyeballs i heard this from Alyssa ashley who's also doing a sponsorship with them i get a lot of my little recommendation from youtube videos and my mom was using this too before i heard it from Alyssa ashley so i said let me just try it but it definitely takes off my makeup so clean and so smooth it's literally like butter like just rubbing lotion on your skin that's what it feels like and when you take it off the makeup just melts away it's so amazing so great i recommend this a hundred percent this is another eco tools product i got this on sale at walmart i still got the tag on this for three dollars i bought two so this is the one that's unopened and then the one that is opened is hanging up in my bathroom it's either cognac or cognac facial sponge however you say that this also works for sensitive skin this sponge is so hard it's literally like a rock and once you wet it it gets really soft and it has micro vegetable fibers that you just use and scrub over oh my my skin feeling soft today you just use it and scrub it over your skin and it gets rid of any impurities i also use this when i'm taking off my makeup so after i use my ponds after i use my simple i wash my face and i use this and it literally wipes away all the rest of the makeup that you cannot see that's still in your skin i absolutely love this you're supposed to replace it every one to three months that's why i bought two coconut oil this is ooh, I put it the wrong way this is a big splurge for i know a lot of people i tried using this on my hair a long time ago and it did nothing 
for my hair so i just gave up on using coconut oil but my skin has been super dry this winter and the summer my skin was going through a lot this summer too being in a different kind of weather in france it doesn't work on my hair but it works amazing on my skin it leaves my skin really smooth really soft i used to use olive oil and that also works amazing on the skin but i use this shea moisture coconut oil heads it's a 100 extra virgin coconut oil we don't really know if it's 100 percent, but listen it works just the same but i use this on my skin and it definitely restores it keeps it soft it keeps it smooth and i absolutely love using it so this is a product that i got in france this is called labello it is a lip moisturizer labello hydro care and it also has spf in it I think it's a German product. Yep, Hamburg. But I got it in France. I literally bought so many of these coming back to America. I think I bought like around six or eight new ones so I can bring them back to America and use. And now they're like just splattered everywhere. I have one in like every bag, in my makeup bag, in my suitcase, everything because this moisturizes my lips so well. I've had such a give and take relationship with chapstick. Sometimes it doesn't normally help or it'll make my lips really chalky and white but labello definitely goes deep deep down to moisturize my lips doesn't make my lips have that white look around them which is so weird do not like that and i'm really trying to figure out if they can mail these to me they don't sell them in america i'm trying to figure out a way where i can get them through amazon i've been like searching for them but i've had like no luck with finding the actual products that I can buy for myself. If you know where I can get the website to get the hookup for these Labello chapsticks, let your girl know. Put it in the comment box below, okay? So this is about to be so ratchet because it's finished, but <laughs> I've been using this toothpaste for a minute, minute now. My dentist actually recommended this to me and I absolutely love it it is the max fresh colgate brand in cool mint and it also has whitening effects and it has breath strips this works wonders for breath this works wonders for your teeth if you brush your teeth with this at night your morning breath will be reduced by like 60 percent this is amazing i love using this and this is like the only toothpaste that I use now I don't even want to use anything else I always 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 buy this when I see it my last skincare product is Lubriderm. it's a lotion I used to be a big Aveeno person because like I said I had sensitive skin and Aveeno really helped with that but I recently started using Lubriderm, and it does a really great job at moisturizing my skin without affecting my skin in any kind of way I've been using it through the summer I've been using it through the winter this is normal moisture normal to dry skin and it's also fragrance free i think you can get them with fragrance and then they have a sensitive skin one and those kind of things i love using this lubriderm we're gonna move on to the hair products now that i have just a mini disclaimer my hair actually got damaged this year i was in the fashion show at my school and we were basically instructed that we had to blow dry and straighten our hair for the show and i ended up having my hair get heat damaged which broke my little heart because you know I'm all about my hair. I've had different hairstyle like every couple of months and my natural hair was just my pride. Now my hair has grown a great lot. It's basically half natural and strong and then the tips of it are heat damaged. A lot of these different products that I'll be talking about for my hair has helped my hair in that weird process of figuring out how to moisturize and treat my regular natural hair and how to moisturize and treat my heated natural hair. So a lot of these products will reflect on that this is a natural girl must a wide tooth monster comb oh this is by con air my hair is very very thick my hair texture kind of changed when it got heat damaged so it was a lot more wavy instead of the thick thick forcey curls that I'm used to having but now that my hair has grown back a great deal them roots they need some raking okay this comb has been such a great deal of 
help for me. So I've been using this brand for a very long time. I could not for the life of me figure out the name of them whenever I wanted to mention it. But I guess it's OGX. And I used to use their coconut oil line for washing my hair. But since my hair got heat damaged, I really wanted something that would restore and strengthen my hair. So this is their Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco conditioner and obviously their shampoo as well. The first wash, I really recognize the difference in between the strength of my hair because when your hair is heat damaged it gets very brittle it breaks off a lot and I wanted something that would strengthen that because I didn't I wanted to do the big chop but I was advised not to do it from a lot of different people solely because this is my last year of college and my hair it grows pretty fast but not as fast as I would have liked it to this has been great for renewing and strengthening my hair another argan oil product this is cream of nature's perfect edges line okay with argan oil from morocco as well everybody getting argan oil from morocco okay perfect edges perfect hold exotic shine exotic shine and makes hair stronger so i don't use this all the time it's kind of like a pomade Ooh. That smells so good. The formula is very thick. Like if you put your finger in there, you're not gonna get anything. You kind of have to scoop it out. And I don't use this a lot because it's very easy for this to get cakey in your hair. But listen, gel has been my best friend since this heat damage situation because I can't really do twist outs and those kinds of things because my hair texture is just not how I really want it to be. What I do use almost every single day is this Ampro Pro Style Clear Ice gel this is an ultra hold protein styling gel i really do believe that this helps your hair to grow too i've gone through like three or four of these big jars i think in the past three or four months which is crazy to me because that's a lot of gel but this works so well it's very lightweight you don't see your hair flaking or getting white when you use this so I truly appreciate this Ampro Pro Style Gel. This next product I actually found when I went to Afropunk Brooklyn. I got a free sample by Eden Body Works. This is their hibiscus honey line and hydration custard i was looking for something that would moisturize my skin in the best way i was like i'm gonna look for this everywhere i did not get to go back and like buy their products they had a, their own booth so i found myself running to like target or walgreens or walmart to see if i could find their brand and it's very rare to see eden body works products or even their full line like you might get like one product here and there so i decided that i would go online to get a lot of their products and I bought up the store. Listen, their products are very cheap. They come in a hefty amount so you probably don't have to restock for a little minute. I bought like two of everything and they actually gave me some free products which were amazing and then I also got their almond marshmallow line which I kind of didn't want to because almond marshmallow is not a scent that I would seem very fond of but it smells really good. This is their therapy leave-in conditioner and this is also almost finished. We're gonna go on to accessories. So that's technology, all that. This little baby, I'm pretty sure all my tech people know what this is. This is a hard drive. I think it's four terabytes. Hopefully I'm saying the right thing. But I got this because my computer is so old that it's going through the struggle. And literally if I try to edit one video, it will give me the hardest of times and say that it has no space. So literally if I post one picture on my computer, it's like, oh, you have no space. So it's really hard and difficult to upload videos or or to edit videos or to put information on my computer because it just never has space so I said let me go ahead and buy a hard drive that is gonna last for a long time I got this on Amazon I say Lacey brand hard drive this right here is my baby this is my child I bring this everywhere especially at school this is a hydro flask as you can see it is very large bigger than my head this is a liter it is 32 ounces it is a wide mouth and i got the 
flexa cap with it you can buy different caps like one with a straw and those kind of things i got the big flexi cap this thing holds ice for almost 48 hours it holds hot things for 12 hours i've never put hot things in here only because if it holds ice for so long i'm pretty sure i'll be burning myself with how long it would keep the hot things that i put in here but when i'm at school i drink three liters of water every single day that's probably why my skin is looking how it's looking right now because i drink this so often but it's really heavy <laughs> And I usually put ice in here to chew on some ice. It's super heavy when it's filled up with water and ice. I absolutely love this Hydro Flask. I would suggest this to anybody. It is a little bit pricey. This liter, I think, was... I'm probably going to get this price wrong. It was either $59 or $49 to get this liter. But it is absolutely worth it. I'll be having this bottle for a very, very, very very long time so i'm getting down to my last couple of items this is a bag i don't even think it has a name but this is a bag that i got in france from one of their supermarkets it was called super u super u and the thing in france is let me open this you know how you go to superstores here in america and they're like paper or plastic in france they don't even ask you if you want a bag i guess it's more eco-friendly and more sustainable for you to bring your own bag which i didn't know the first time i went to a supermarket so i bought this bag from the supermarket and it has like i guess all these food references on it and the color is so cute i'm like trying to get in the way so you can see it but it is a grocery bag so just in case you don't want to get any plastic bags this is what you do and then the pouch is actually connected so this is the bag in and of itself so if you wanted to go to the supermarket you could just pop this out of your purse and do what you gotta do let's see if i can fold this back right so i'm putting it back in the bag yeah yeah so I just thought this was so cool to use and obviously it's sustainable and you can reuse it over and over again. So I definitely appreciate this. So this is a bag that I got from Forever 21. It's kind of hard to see right here, but it has like gold accents on it. It's a cute little clutch handbag. It holds a lot of things. It also came with a little inside pouch, a makeup bag to use. It is all white, so I've been trying to do my best to keep it clean, especially when I'm wearing makeup. It also came with a strap, so if I wanted to carry it over me, but usually I hold it in my hand because I just like how that looks a lot better. This is my last, last product. This is a fanny pack that I also got from Forever. 21 it is black and it has silver accents this has been my go-to going out look it has extra security because it has a buckle right here and then you zip it open it fits my phone if i needed my keys just a little bit of money and a charger i have some labello in here <laughs> I always have a labello in every single bag just the little little things that are necessary for me to keep on a day out when i don't want to bring a big big bag i usually don't wear it as a fanny pack like I do the Pinterest thing you know this is how I put it on and just put it over my shoulder like so so this is how I usually wear this bag but I absolutely love this bag and it has a cool I don't know what you call this but where you can just snap it on that's really fun i absolutely love this bag those were all my items i cannot believe i went through all of this stuff hopefully when i edit this this is not a crazy long video if it is i truly apologize but i absolutely loved a lot of these products and a lot of these brands that i got these products from as you can see an overall goal was just being eco-friendly being great to your skin things that complement your skin things that help your skin those were the kind of products that I really favorited. Is that even a word? Those are the kind of products that were my favorites for this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Please remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe to this video. Okay, I love y'all so much. Bye!